How are we doing today? I'm just sitting here thinking about the Word of God and how uh, Jesus went about healing everybody. He didn't heal some, He healed them all, you know. We're supposed to be imitators of Christ, you know, and, and Jesus never made anybody sick. And you'll hear people say, well, God gives you sickness to teach you a lesson. Oh, I learned so much through that sickness. Well, good that you learned through it. doesn't mean God wanted that for you or had that for you. That wasn't the will of God for your life for you to be sick, you know. We're supposed to be imitators of Christ. And Jesus said, I only do what my Father did. And all he ever did was heal people. Set people free from demons all over the place. That's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be new creatures in Christ. God has more than he, you, you could possibly think or imagine for you. You know? And, and he wants us to have wisdoms in all situations. And the devil will try to lie to us. Because if, you, if you're double-minded and you think God heals sometimes and then he gives you sickness sometimes, you'll never receive your healing. you got to believe God is good. He has a plan and purpose for your life to give you a hope and a future and not to harm you, but to prosper you. You know, John said in the book of John that, hey, I, in the letter of John, that, I, that I, my will for you is that you prosper and be in good health. Not, oh, that you're poor and you be sick. He never says that. God has a plan and purpose for everybody's life. Not some. It's all about here. It's all about renewing your mind to the Word of God. The Word of God never changes. It's true. You know? It's the same. You know? So God is just good. I'm trying to pound that into people's head. I keep getting that on my heart. I feel the Holy Spirit telling me that. That He wants to bless you today. He wants you healthy. He wants you prosperous. He has a plan and purpose for your life. It's just, just to be good for you. There's not bad things happen to you all the time. And you know, people hear people say, well, you know, it always happens to me. I get sick this time every time of year. Oh, it's flu season. You don't get the flu. Oh, allergy season. It's allergy season every year after year after year. And what happens? They get the flu. They get sick. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You know, your words have power. So be careful how you use your words. Choose this day, blessing or curse. Are you going to bless your family? Are you going to bless your kids when they're all doing stuff instead of going, well, I'm worried about getting them hit by a car. No, you use your words to bless. The power of life and death lie in the power of the tongue. In Jesus' name, you have a blessed day. And change your thinking. You change your thinking, you change your life. In Jesus' name, amen.